One of the interesting things about Wortham's writing is he just didn't talk about the fact that kids who were exposed to violence ended up uh, becoming juvenile delinquents. He actually developed an entire syndrome that supposedly influenced children. And he called this comic book syndrome. And so kids that read comic books day after day, night after night, hour after hour, they would have five or so criteria that would sort of exemplify this syndrome. First is they would read comic books on the sly. Nobody would know they're doing it. They would lie about reading comic books. They would make sure that people thought they read Disney comics as opposed to the violent crime comics they were reading. Also, he felt that those who read these comic books felt really guilty about reading these violent comic books and that ultimately they would have some sadistic and violent fantasies as well. Finally, the last part of the comic book syndrome is that kids would steal money to buy comic books or they would take money meant for other things to purchase these comic books. So we had this great syndrome and it was really interesting to read about. The thing that I noticed was, though, there really wasn't a lot of backing for it. So once again, a great idea, but not a lot of empirical backing. Did kids really have sadistic and violent fantasies? Not really sure. Did kids really steal money meant for other things? Maybe they did, but maybe that's because they were juvenile delinquents and they were stealing money for whatever they wanted, not just comic books. So an interesting syndrome, just one lacking in empirical validation.